hey guys so today we will continue menstrual cycle okay so we were studying about the menstrual cycle we studied the origin and definition of cycle uh, of menstrual cycle right and the phases of menstrual cycle also right so let's just repeat this menstrual cycle is a you know bleeding phase and three to five days this uh, phase continues and endometrium layer which is the uh, inner la innermost layer of the uterus uh, this shade during our menstrual cycle and average amount of blood loss during each menstruation is 30 ml okay and we have three phases in our menstrual cycle which is follicular phase ovulatory phase and luteal phase and this menstrual cycle is 28 days usually for every woman it's 28 days now let's just understand this okay yeah so 28 days right let's just divide this 28 days into half means 14 and 14 days okay 14 plus 14 right it's clear so first 14 days are yeah first 14 days are follicular phase and the last 14 days are luteal phase and on the 14th day we have ovulatory phase okay we will study about each of this phase in detail don't worry just right now just understand this first 14 days are follicular and the last 14 days are luteal and on the 14th day we have our ovulation okay Okay, so they, if they ask you menstrual cycle, I recommend you to, you know, highly recommend you to draw this, uh, you know, scale and let's uh, just show them in very briefly that what menstrual cycle is. You will get some extra marks, okay? Here the menstrual cycle, uh, let's just divide this 14th day, okay? First 6 day we have our menstruation, right? Uterus lining is shading right now. The first 6 days almost usually for every woman. Then after from 6th day, from the 7th day basically, from 7th day to 10th day, uh, we have uterine lining again thickens, okay? See? Uterine lining again thickens, means endometrium again forming on the uh, till 10th day and on 14th uh, till 10 to 14 means uh, more four days it continues to thicken and on the 14th day it evolution occur okay yeah and after 14th day evolution occur then 18th day uh, uterine lining continues to thick and 28 till 28th day in uterine lining continues to thick thicken okay continues to thicken see continues to thicken then again again after 28 days we have our menstruation again uterine lining continues to thick you know form again you know menstruation uterine lining shade right and after that again endometrium start forming continues to thicken ovulation occur on 14th day this is basically the menstrual cycle okay follicular phase and luteal phase and ovulatory phase okay yeah so follicular phase okay starts from the first day of menstruation and ends with ovulation okay means starts from the first day of menstruation means uh, you know the total 14 day i have told you in the scale that it starts from the first day of menstruation six day menstruation continue again it endometrium form and on the 14th day ovulation occur till this period this whole period is called follicular phase right okay usually follicular phase is 14 days but it can vary in different women right okay so ovulatory phase now ovulatory phase occurs in the mid of the cycle usually on the 14th day and it can occur any day from day 10 to day 17 on of the follicular phase only okay during follicular phase we have our ovulation right not in the luteal phase in the follicular phase just remember that okay so it occurs in the mid of the cycle right our menstruation occur endometrium layer shades during our menstruation then again endometrium start forming then on the 14th day ovulation occur so ovulation is occurring on the mid of the cycle which is 14th day right so yeah in the follicular phase only okay ovulatory phase comes under the follicular phase only right okay now the last phase which is luteal phase last 14 days are luteal phase last up to the you know up to the starting of menstruation means on the from the 14th day means from the after the ovulation after ovulation till 
next menstrual period okay this phase is called luteal phase after ovulation ovulatory phase after ovulation till the next menstrual cycle this period is called luteal phase i hope the phases are clear right now let's continue the follicular phase okay let's study this in detail follicular phase means the first 14 days right okay so let's see what happens in this stage why this stage is called follicular follicles are i hope you know that follicles are uh, you know follicles are responsible for producing egg and why we need egg we all know to you know to make a child to get pregnant we need an egg from mother and we need an egg uh, not egg sorry we need sperm from father right so egg and sperm then uh, you know uh, make you know they join and they make zygote and then it continues so we need an egg from mother and sperm from father so egg is uh, produced by follicles okay so follicular phase means we will study about the follicles and egg okay how it matures so hypothalamus and anterior pituitary role in this follicular phase what are the roles of hypothalamus and anterior pituitary let's just understand hypothalamus produce gonadotropin releasing hormone okay hypothalamus produce what gonadotropin releasing hormone now what he do gonadotropin releasing hormone will stimulate anterior pituitary to produce fsh and lh follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone let's see here the, here is hypothalamus situated hypothalamus produce gonadotropin releasing hormone gonadotropin releasing hormone will come to the anterior pituitary and tell anterior pituitary give order to anterior pituitary to produce fsh and lh now what these two will do FSH and LH means follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone will travel to the female ovaries okay to the female ovaries then then follicle stimulating and luteinizing hormone will regulate the follicle maturation i have already told you that follicle uh, you know ovaries has multiple thousand of follicles okay thousand of follicles see thousand of follicles one ovary have so from that thousand follicles only one get matures and produce an egg so fsh and luteinizing hormone follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone helps that one particular uh, lucky you know you can say lucky uh, follicle to get mature and produce an egg so follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone helps in maturation of the egg or maturation of the follicles and producing egg right so ovaries has blood vessels we all know and through each capillary follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone will enter in the ovaries and help in maturation is one of uh, in uh, maturation of one of the follicles okay and follicle will mature and produce an egg let's just repeat this process at first hypothalamus will produce gonadotropin hormone releasing hormone after that gonadotropin releasing hormone will go to anterior pituitary and stimulate and give order to anterior pituitary to produce follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone then then follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone will travel uh, you know to the female ovary ovary have thousand of follicles thousands of follicles only one lucky follicle will mature and produce an egg follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone will help that one lucky follicle to mature to get mature helps in maturation and help uh, that follicle in producing an egg okay so yeah i hope this whole process is clear yeah so if you have any doubt in the follicular phase which is the first 14 days if you have any doubt then let me know in the comment section okay thank you